When doing experiments on work, it's sometimes helpful to have a cart, a fairly heavy cart. Um, and one way of making that is to take an old pair of roller skates, because they have fairly low friction in the wheels, and just attach a mass to it. And I've, in this case, I've attached a brick to it, and the total mass of this is 3,000 grams, or 3 kilograms. And so if I were to hold it up, the force of holding that would be about 30 newtons. Remember that each newton is about 100 grams, so I've got 3,000 grams, so that's equal to 30 newtons. In order for me to pull the cart, I have to exert a force of about 0.5 newtons. A pretty low force. It's independent of the mass because the only force that I'm overcoming when I pull is the force of friction between my cart and the desktop that I'm using. So the force of friction is very low with this particular device. If I want to drag the cart, I can flip it over. And now I have to exert a greater force. So I need my other spring scale. And I now drag it. And now I'm looking at a force of around 8 newtons. If you don't have uh, an old pair of roller skates, you can use almost any object. Uh, toys are great. Here's a wooden truck uh, that my grandchildren play with. And you can, again, measure the force of pulling this. The friction here is a little bit higher. So when I pull this, I'm looking at about one meter. If I add my weight to it, oops, and I pull it now, we have a force required of about four newtons. The mass does make a difference, of course, because the higher the mass, the greater the, what we often call the rolling friction, the bearings in this toy truck are not great. It's just wood on wood, whereas in the cart, I'm using ball bearings, low friction bearings.